guys. Madhouse Studio is a Japanese animation studio established in 1972 by former Mushi Pro animators, including Masao Maruyama, Osamu Dezaki, Rintaro, and Yoshiaki Kawajiri. Madhouse has created and helped making many famous shows, OVAs, and films, started with TV and series. From 1972 to present, the studio has made various anime titles that have become very successful in the markets, especially in the current era when anime studios are competing to present the best anime works. Welcome back to this channel. Today, I've picked up the best anime of Madhouse Studio. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest video. So let's get started. Number 10 is Claymore. This anime is a TV series that aired in spring 2007 with 26 episodes in total. It tells the story of a demon who can transform with human flesh, better known as Yoma. Arriving in Raikis village, a woman with silver eyes walks into the city with only a sword on her back. She calls herself Claymore a gigantic product of half-human and half-yoma, intending to destroy the existing monsters. After his family was killed, Rocky comes with Claire, a claymore. The two of them travel from one city to another to defeat Yoma along their journey. Number 9 is Housing Ultimate Helsing Ultimate comes in the form of an OVA with 10 episodes in total, which aired between 2006 and 2012. The Zen itself is centered around the Royal Order of Protestant Knight, initially led by Abraham van Helsing. One of his missions is to find and destroy the undead and other evil supernatural forces. It starts when the creatures of darkness and evil terrorized every night and ate humans. On the other hand, there is a housing organization, an organization dedicated to destroying supernatural forces that threaten the existence of mankind. In the graph fabric, Winket's housing is the leader of the housing organization and a strong military leader who spends most of his life fighting and slaughtering the undead. If we discuss Indigra's ultimate weapon for killing the undead, then we'll find a vampire named Alucard. Alucard works to fight all the undead as part of housing. With his new vampire servant, Zora's Victoria, by his side, Alucard must fight not only the monsters, but all those who are against housing, whether those who are discussed as good or evil. In the battle for human survival, Housing Ultimate proves that appearance is not what it seems, and sometimes the greatest weapon can come in the form of a person's nightmare. Number 8 is Black Lagoon. The Zame is a TV series airing in spring 2016 with 12 episodes in total. Black Lagoon itself is an anime adapted from a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Hiroi. It's been published in the Seinen Shogakukan magazine, monthly Sunday Gen X since 2002 with 11 volumes released in 2018. The Zeme tells the story of a group of mercenaries known as the Legun Company. This company smuggles various goods into and around the seas of Southeast Asia in the early to mid-1990s. Starting in Thailand, Rwanapur, a depraved and crime-ridden city where the government or even the church can't touch the criminals. A heaven for convicts, the city is notorious as a center of illegal activities and operations, often fueled by local crime syndicates. This is a thriller anime that delves into the depths of human morality and virtue. A man who struggles to keep his values and philosophy intact as they slowly change from ordinary workers to ruthless mercenaries. Number 7 is No Game No Life. 
No Game No Life Anime is a TV anime series that aired in Spring 2014 with 12 episodes. This anime is an adaptation of the Japanese light novel series by Yu Kamiya that tells a group of teenagers who like to play games, trying to defeat the gods through various board games to usurp the gods' throne. This anime is a surreal comedy that follows the main characters Shiro and Sora, Nid siblings and the game are due under the legendary username Blank. It all starts when they kept a strange email challenging them to play chase. Unexpectedly, after the game is over, they end up in a world where the game didn't mean everything. The mysterious girl welcomes Sora and Shira to this port, a world where all forms of conflict, from petty quarrels to the fate of entire nations are settled not through war, but by high-stakes games. The system works thanks to a fundamental rule wherein each party must wager something that thing is equal in value to the other party's wager. In a world different to the real world they had lived in, where the idea of human need is reduced to child's play, Sora and Shiro finally find a real reason to keep playing the game, to unite the 16 races of this sport, they've attacked and become the cause of this new gaming is everything world. Number 6 is Death Parade. The Zama is a TV series that aired in winter 2015 with 12 episodes in total. The anime series itself spawned from a short film titled Death Billiards, which aired in 2013. Whenever someone dies, they are sent to one of many mysterious bars surrounded by bartenders in charge as arbiters in the afterlife. There, they must compete in death game with their souls on the line, the results of which reveal what secrets led them to their situation and what their fate will be, with the arbiters judging if their souls will be sent for reincarnation or thrown into void and emptiness. Whether it's bowling, dots, or hockey or anything in between, everyone's true nature will be revealed in a horrible parade of death and memories, dancing to the whims of the bar owner. Welcome to Queen Dizim, where Dizim, the arbiter of the afterlife, awaits the dead. Number 5 is Parasite. The Parasite anime are to unfold 2014 with 24 episodes in total. The anime itself is an adaptation of a Japanese science fiction horror manga series written and illustrated by Hitoshi Iwaki and published in Kodansa's Morning Open Zokan and Monthly Afternoon magazine from 1988 to 1995. Not only the anime, the manga also received two live-action movies which aired in 2014 and 2015. The story begins with parasitic aliens who suddenly come to Earth and sneak into the human body by controlling their brains. These parasites are never satisfied until they can complete control over their host. They can turn into various forms to prey on humans. Sunichi Izumi, a young boy becoming a victim of one of these parasites, but unlike the others, the parasite attacking his body felt to take over his brain, ending up Sunichi's right hand. Having no other choice, Miki, a parasitic alien, has to live by Shinichi's side in order to survive. Thus, the pair is forced to coexist uncomfortably and must defend themselves from hostile parasites that hope to eradicate this new threat to their species. Number 4 is One Punch Man This anime comes from a Japanese superhero franchise created by the artist One who then wrote the original webcomic version in early 2009. Then, a digital remake manga began to be published on Suisha's Tonari no Youngjam website in 2012, illustrated by Yusuke Murata. The anime itself premiered in fall 2015, with 12 episodes in total. It follows the story of Saitama, an ordinary figure who dreams of becoming a hero since he was a child. To become a superhero, he trained really hard without stopping until he lost all of his hair in the process and becomes bald. Now, Saitama is extremely strong, so much so that no enemy is able to defeat him in battle. In fact, all it takes to defeat evildoers with just a single punch has led to an unexpected problem. 
he no longer enjoys the thrill of battling and has become quite bored due to his immense strength. And this begins the story of One Punch Man, an action comedy that follows an eccentric individual who longs for fighting strong enemies, hoping to give him the excitement he ever felt and maybe he will become popular in the process. Number 3 is Overlord. This anime is a TV series that premiered in summer 2015 with 13 episodes. Besides, this anime got several sequels and also a movie. In 2138, a virtual reality game era grows rapidly with various DMMORPGs. One of them is Yggdrasil, that has received the most public attention. After an intense 12-year run, the online game is about finally to be shut down. The final hour of the popular virtual reality game Yggdrasil has come. However, Momonga, a powerful wizard and master of the Dark Guild Ends All Gone, decides to spend his last few moments in the game as the servers begin to shut down. Surprisingly, till the clock has struck midnight, Momonga is still fully aware of his character and moreover, the non-player characters seem to have developed their own personalities. First, with this abnormal situation, Momonga orders his loyal servants to help him investigate and take control of this new world, in hopes of finding out what causes this development and if there might be someone else in the same predicament. Number 2 is Death Note This anime is an adaptation of the Japanese manga series written by Sugumi Oba and illustrated by Takeshi Obata. Apart from the anime, the series also received several live-action movies that have aired. The series also received several live-action movies that have aired. The anime premiered in fall 2006 with 37 episodes in total. Starting with a Shinigami or God of Death who can kill humans easily. Ryuk is a Shinigami with the power of Death Note. He one day gets bored with his daily life and drops a Death Note into the human realm. Then there is Light Yagami, a student who discovers the death note of the Shinigami. With the power of this death note, Light decides to extinguish all criminals and build a new world where crime doesn't exist and people worship him as a god. This is the story of a teenager who wants to become a god who ends up receiving his own karma. Number 1 is Hunter x Hunter It can be said, this anime is a remake of anime airing in 1999 with a few changes in it. This anime itself is an adaptation of a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Yoshihiro Tagashi, which has been serialized in Weekly Shonen Chomp since 1998. The story follows a young man who wants to become a professional hunter one day. Hunter x Hunter is that in a world where hunters exist to perform all kinds of dangerous tasks such as capturing criminals and bravely searching for lost treasures in uncharted territory. 12-year-old Gon Friggs is determined to become the best hunter in hopes of finding his father, who was also a hunter and had abandoned his young son long ago. However, Gon soon realizes that the path to achieving his goal is much more challenging than he has ever imagined. Well, that's the list of the best anime of Madhouse Studio. Is there any of your favorite anime on the list? If there is, write in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys on the next video. Bye!